in terms of uh, employment generation, there's a key policy that isn't yet in place but should be put in there, and that's security of tenure. That goes against the uh, grain, not just nationally but globally, of contractualization, which the labor movement has most to say to us about uh, what the problem with that is development-wise. But we have to address that. We have to give people back the security of tenure that their parents and the generations before uh, took for granted as a basis for achieving quality of life for themselves and also uh, develop, uh, um, building a more developed country. Uh, we have to rethink uh, our labor and migration policies. Uh, I mentioned also a return to agriculture. We cannot develop even any selected industries where we may still capture a competitive advantage. We cannot expand our services sector unless we modernize our agriculture, achieve food security, and integrate the rural and uh, urban economies. So those are some of the, the things that I hope we will continue to work on in the next three years and beyond. Hopefully, sana nagdidirang ang Helga. So focus, <laughs> syempre, uh, at the outset sa kababaihan at sa kasa kalusugan. So bills related to government support for women in terms of jobs and livelihood to include solo mothers. Uh, bills related to really setting up the system of universal health care. So bills to ensure um, quality services in hospitals, to ensure the expansion of health services to the communities at the grassroots level, and to, as a follow-up to the cheaper medicines law, to ensure that uh, prices of medicines remain low and become even lower through the various uh, reform measures.